Welcome, 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 welcome to 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, it's good to be back. Um, I've been out for a week. Um, I had the rotas, had the COVID, um, but I'm better now. And we'll be back at the show every day. I am fully recovered, energetic, feel good. Uh, we're going to get into Gary Russell Jr., the, the big fight this weekend. Former world champion Gary Russell Jr. loses to now the new uh, WBC featherweight champ, Mark uh, McSayo. In, a, in, a, in an interesting fight. It's a fun fight. Um, Russell did everything he could with one arm. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Comes at you every day, twice a day. Uh, no, not anymore. Comes at you every day, 8, 10 minutes a day. Keep you updated on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. And yes, we will be back every day uh, with the show for you guys. Uh, but I want to get into this Gary Russell Jr. thing. Um, first, I want to give full credit to Gary Russell Jr. Um, for fighting with the injury as well as he did. Um, I, I, I I thought he maybe pulled it out. I, it was a tough fight to score because he, you know, he fought one arm. I had it either 6'6 six, six or 7'5 Russell Jr. And I know a lot of you guys are all fit about that. That's how I had the fight. I had him up, I had him up early. Um, and then I thought <laughs> from 6 on, they kind of swept the rounds. You know, um, uh, I, um, a lot of people are impressed with McSyle, and he looked good. You know, he, he was landing combinations. Uh, he, he, he's getting in clean. He was scoring. He was doing some good things. Um, but once Gary Russell Jr. couldn't jab anymore, and after the third round, he threw three jabs. And after the fifth round, he threw no jabs. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven rounds, he threw no jabs. In nine rounds, he threw three. So he didn't jab at all. The best jabber in the sport couldn't jab at all. So what don't you do? You don't follow him around the ring. You, you, you don't come to him. You make him come to you. Because he can't. If you, if you just stay at a distance, he can't jab you. So make him come to you. He's going to throw a lead right. You know he has to. He has no, he literally has no other choice. Just counter it. Time it and counter it. Come over it. And just do that. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. And you're a world champion. Now, McSayo didn't do that. He did the opposite of it. And so much of that, but he was just not even cutting the ring off on Russell Jr. Just following him around the ring. And, and Russell Jr. had one arm and he still almost beat him. Still almost pulled him off. Still almost pulled it off. A really impressive performance from Russell Jr. That being said, if he had this injury before the fight, which he kind of said he did, and he kind of, you shouldn't be in the ring. I know he hasn't fought in two years, but, like, first, why would a doctor clear you if, and second, the fans paid for this. Like, the, the fans paid good money for this, the fans that were in attendance. You own a better show than that. I'm not saying Russell Jr. for a bet. I thought he might have won. Like that, I, I thought he really did. But you give the fans your best. If you if you go in there, a wounded fighter, push it back. I, I guess he would would have had to have surgery on it, which put about another six months. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to say. But he has a four and two years. Why hadn't he had the surgery prior? I, I don't under, I I don't understand what Russell. Did going into the fight, and then once we got into the fight, I don't understand what McSyro did the last nine rounds, even though he did eke it out and got a decision over, over the one on Russell. Um, why would you keep coming to him? The only thing he can hit you with is a counter right hand. And I thought he did enough to probably win the fight. McSyro, stand there. Jab him from a distance. Jab him to the body. And also, hook him. Hit him in that right arm. Hit him in the arm, make him drop his arm. McSyle did none of this. He got Freddie Rosen scored, that six time trainer of the year, whatever he is. 
You can't figure this out. I'm, there, I'm rooting for Russell Jr., but I'm screaming at McSide, like, what are you doing? Like, this is not, this is, <laughs> this is not brain surgery. So, again, I thought this fight was really even. I thought the judges were very close. I, I thought 114, 114, 115, 113. I thought, I thought it was that kind of fight. Um, but honestly, I thought we were going to get another draw. I thought because of the way the action was, I thought you were going to get three wildly different. I thought you were going to get one for Russell, one for McSire, and one even. I thought we were going to get a split draw. We didn't. Two of the three judges went 115, 113 Um, You know, I, I could see what uh, Steve Fallhood, the judge on Showtime, was thinking. But I didn't have it like that. Did you guys have it like that? Give it a wide from McSire? I, I didn't. Um. Gary Russell Jr., and I just want to touch on this for a minute. Gary Russell Jr. is, I, I think, and I've been saying this for years now, maybe the most skilled guy, best hand speed, most skilled guy in the sport today. He's that good. Um, you know, we only get to see him once a year. And then, and not at all in 2021. And it's unfortunate. Now, I, I'm not saying that Gary Russell Jr. can't get back. Um, he's 33. Right, it's not young. He's thirty three, but he's only thirty three. He's not fifty, right? He's not thirty eight. He's thirty three. He's got some time left. You know, he doesn't have a ton of wear and tear. Um, so those are good signs. I I, I do think he can get back, but he's not going to be able to do it once a year. Uh, I I think this is a guy that has Hall of Fame talent. He's a Hall of Fame fighter. He does not have a Hall of Fame resume. Since the loss to Lomachenko, he just hasn't fought enough. He's got a win over Christopher Martin, Johnny Gonzalez, Patrick Hyland, Oscar S. Condone, Jojo Diaz, Kiko Martinez, which looks better in hindsight, uh, King Tug, which looks worse in hindsight, and Mixayo. He's Now he lost to Mixayo. It's not a Hall of Fame resume. And, and, and look, Russell Jr. can do it. He doesn't want to fight. He wants to fight once a year, take a year off. He's well within his right to do that, right? Now, he, he's met his WBC uh, mandatories. It's never been an issue. So he's entitled to do that. But he has given away the prime year, the absolute prime years of his career, 28 to 32. He's kind of given away. He's given away. Um, and it's his right to do that, but I, I, I really do think he, unless he fixes it now and he has the skill and he still has some time to do it, he could he could have went down as one of the great fighters of this era. Because I think skill-wise, he's one of, you know, let's say post-Mayweather. Is he the most skill, skilled guy in the sport? Maybe. Like, he's that good. Like, he gave away an all-time great career. All-time. He could have been an all-time great. He could have run that division. You know, he, he's obviously continues to make it, although he may have struggled a little this time. He gave away an all-time great career. Now, he's still got time. He can get this belt back. I hope he fights McSayo again and gets this belt back and defends it twice a year for the next couple of years. Maybe he can make himself into that Hall of Famer, but if, if he wants to. Um, again, one of my favorite fighters to watch has always been, I think he's one of the most skilled guys. He's probably got the fastest hands in the sport. I want to see more of Gary Russell Jr. I think he can get it all the way back. And I, I, I still think he can kind of put together the, the rest of this whole thing in the last couple of years and the tail end of his career here. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, who just going to fight for? What do you think left for Gary Russell Jr.? Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside 3